Now, we do know that Valentine's Day was on Sunday, but we are still sticking to the theme with a fun and exhilarating hug in a mug five-second game. And, of course, on today's show, we've got so many giveaways. You definitely want to stay tuned. But, ladies, how are we holding it down in the kitchen? Nicole, Dumi, welcome. Well, I'm holding it. <laughs> welcome. Yay! <laughs> I'm holding it down with an amazing smoothie, Balesa. I mean, these hot summer days aren't going anywhere anytime soon. And we're loving it. I mean, today we're keeping it smooth by making a seasonal summertime uh, tropical smoothie with sunshine and a whole lot of summer in it. <laughs> and it's guaranteed to keep you feeling cool and refreshed throughout those sunshiny days. Balesa. I love that. I mean, Nicole, does that sound like something that you're about? It sounds amazing and I'm all about teamwork. <laughs> Smoothies are definitely a team exercise today. This I is know. a team sport exercise. Yes. Extreme smoothie making. I love it. I mean, Nicole, is this essentially, we're kicking off the show with making smoothies, mm -hmm. but is this typically how you kick off your days? Um, it should be, and I should say <laughs> yes. You should start every day with a healthy smoothie and uh, definitely fruit, mm. especially moving into the winter season to keep our immune system strong. I love it. Yeah, so, so tell me, where do we start? What better way to infuse fruit into your daily uh, day than with a smoothie, you know? So to start it off, Balesa, you've got some granadella or passion fruit. There's a debate about what the correct name is. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Not today. I like passion fruit. <laughs> you like passion fruit? Passion fruit. Lovely. Bali, you're going to basically open it up for us, cut it open and then take the pulp out for there. I'm going to need it for my garnish for it to look all beautiful. Mm -hmm. And then, madam, you're going to show us a couple of tricks uh, to get to where I am. But basically, to make my smoothie, we've got some nectarines that have been frozen. We've got some kiwi that's also been frozen. And I've got our amazing, tasty, tropical, tropical flavor that we're using today. That's basically going to make everything um, happen here, bring it all together. But before I do that, I think you want to show us a trick, right? How to get our kiwi, the skin off, without losing too much of that flesh. I thought I'd test it out myself before I got arrogant and showed <laughs> off my tricks. But... Uh, Yes, instead of peeling it like I used to, I learned a little smart trick. You just <laughs> simply cut it in half and stick a spoon in there. Oh, wow. Voila. Et voila. Picture perfect. Nicole, so you good in the kitchen? Is this, is this where we can find you at <laughs> no, home? No, no, no. This is, this is definitely <laughs> not my, my comfortable space. That's why I need a team around me of powerful women. I mean, talk <laughs> about three women holding down just one smoothie. But who knows? It's a bonding experience. It is, girl. Exactly. And Food so is bonding. What I've done then, Balasa, is to make sure, like I always say, do not dilute your smoothie with water. Try and either freeze the fruits or freeze whichever liquid you're using. So today we're using Tropica, the tropical flavor. So what we've done is I've actually taken our Tropica and poured it into our uh, ice cube trays. Mm -hmm. and then I froze it. So now instead of having to pour water in there, we are pouring the beautiful juice. So it's going to be basically uh, layers and layers and layers of flavor in here. So we're going in with our Tropica, tropical flavor ice cubes and then we pour in our Tropica there for that additional flavor because this is the star of the show. We're getting tropical, we've got tropical fruits that go with it, we've got passion fruit, we've got some berries, we've got a whole lot of summer basically in a bowl. So to basically finish off this amazing summery refreshment, I'm just gonna blitz it all up. Like I always say, if you want your smoothie a lot more runny, put more liquid. If you want it more of the thicker side, then obviously keep, it, keep the liquid a little less. So I'm just gonna blend it all up. And do me whilst you're blending, Nicole, if you can do the honours, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> it's a messy business in the kitchen. You see why I limit my time in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we won't get the sticky hands on this incredibly clean bowl, but essentially, Mzanz, it was that easy just separating the granadella slash passion fruits, whatever you decide to call it, <laughs> from the, t from the um, hard shell it is. Those right are some here. clean granadella shells. I know, I love it. I just And the smell is just electric. Do me Amazing. Here we go, girl. And Balissa, that's basically the cherry or passion on top of our smoothie, Balissa. Look at that. The taste of the tartness of the granadilla mm. going on to the creamy, tasty flavor of the Tropica. Mm. Um, guys, please, let's not fight over this. Well, why there's are there more two than glasses? Enough. Well, because there's myself, me, myself, and I, and oh, wow. I guess the rest of you guys. You know, wow. it'd be like that. <laughs> so, Dobby, this fruit, essentially, I love um, also being able to chomp and double up on the fruit and the nutrients and being able to play, essentially, with flavors. I know that a lot of people might not be seeing um, a banana doing well in the smoothie, mm -hmm. but I also see banana as a tropical fruit fruits. So I would definitely add that as well. First thing in the morning, that boost of potassium. Of course, Balissa, and that's the thing. The trick that uh, Nicole was showing is just a trick on how to get as much of your fruit as possible so you don't waste. So we made sure that we only just keep the flesh of the... <laughs> 
<laughs> Sorry, I had a moment. It's Hurry okay. On. And then the nectarine, once this is done, you freeze it. Try and make sure that as it freezes, every hour or so, just uh, prop it up and make sure it doesn't freeze into the bowl, otherwise it's going to be hard to get out. So yeah. once it's frozen solid, then you're ready to go with your whatever smoothie you just choose to make. But always, I'd suggest using the tropical, tropical flavor. But that. then this is smooth and exotic. What's not to love about it? So to get this recipe, go to afternoonexpress.co.za. To impress a gorgeous lifeguard, Marlon decides to catch a huge wave. Smooth. But the wave dumps it. Not smooth. Luckily, he's where he wants to be, in the arms mm -hmm. of the lifeguard. Nothing smoother. Tropica. Made with love by Clover.